It's a perfect day for some Saturday softball. The pack is back. It's game two with the number eight Stanford Cardinal hosting the Arizona State Sun Devils. 81 this season. Had a couple of sack bunts yesterday. Hits it in play over to Mailer, who fires to first. Gall with the stretch to get out number one. <laughs> Popped up in foul territory. Kanashiro, basket catch. Couple of efficient outs for Reagan Kraus, working with her battery mate. <laughs> End of the bat. Just past Kraus, but Mailer has it to first, just in time. A one, two, three inning for Reagan Kraus gets things started for the Cardinal. They will pick up the bats. Sends this to left. One hops the bottom of the wall. Kern trying to take two, and she'll do it. A leadoff double for the sophomore Taryn Kern. Gets under it, lifts it into left. Coming in to make the catch is Lewis. She'll run it down, out number one. Guys with 20. Lifts this one into left. Almost deja vu, but this time Denby goes back for it in the shallow green. It's a base hit. Is it an RBI? Coming around to score is Kern. Once again, Stanford strikes first. Series, exactly what you want to do with this pitch. Just hard, back up the middle, on the ground. Now batting for Stanford. That double looks even more important from Taryn Kern as well as she's able to score from second head coach, let alone an assistant and a player in her experience here. And it's ball four. Chan will draw the walk. It's two aboard here with two outs. As that is lightly tapped. Diving from third was Lissy, but no play. Appreciate the effort from the third baseman. Up and in. Barry gets the RBI via the walk. Kaylin Koch will come in to score. Stanford now up two to nothing. Mailer into the outfield. Under it is Lewis, she'll make the catch. So Schultz gets out of it, but not before a couple of runs come across. The aspect really for any pitcher, but for Reagan Krause specifically as well, jumping ahead has been key for her. That's off her glove. Barry tries to fire to first, gets it done. Into left, Kira Chan under it, a couple steps back. A quick out number two as Sarah Kinch is retired. Right back to Kraus, overhanded first and that's gonna do it. Another one, two, three inning for the senior. Cardinal maintain the two run lead. They'll two and two. Up and in and that's gonna get her. Caitlin Lim takes one for the team and finds herself on first base. Into left, that's gonna fall for a base hit. Kern is on first, Lim advances to second. No outs, two aboard. Change up, just missed off the plate. Gall draws the walk. Low and in, gets past Kinch. Standing up, coming across is Lim. Run number three for Stanford. Freebies are always tough. Kinch just not quite getting in front of that ball. Keep Misses again. Back to back walks. Once again, base is loaded. Still two and two. Change up. Coke gets it, and it'll fall into right field. Another RBI single for the senior. It's ever so slightly off balance on this change up, but utilizes her hands. She doesn't fly open, she stays in. Able to extend the barrel through the zone to get enough to get it to the outfield. 
One. In the dirt. Another run walked in. An RBI for Kira Chan. And that's right back to Osborne. She'll get the force at home. Not enough time to double her up at first, but the first out finally recorded here in the second. Missing low. Third time the Sun Devils have walked in a run. Back to back. Our Into the outfield. Center field off the glove of Hall. One run comes across. Make it two. Stanford takes the lead eight to nothing off the bat of River Mailer. Talked about how her timing has been on point and she unloads on this one. Really off the tip of the glove by Hall would have been a huge play for Arizona State momentum wise. But instead Stanford now puts themselves in run rule territory. Scoring position for Lim. She's now into the outfield. Again past the outfield. Lewis getting it back in but another run coming across. Caitlin Lim switches places with River Mailer. Caitlin Lim getting the opportunity to start in this one. Goes with it beautifully. Again, some of that lefty spin, slight misread by Lewis. You can see that ball breaking the other direction. Into left. It's going to fall fair. Taryn Kern one hops the wall once again. Another RBI. This time she brings in a run. Just goes with this pitch beautifully. That looks slightly off the plate, but just extends the barrel through. Great effort by Lewis. Three pitch strikeout. A big time out that was needed for ASU. Ball four. Back-to-back -back walks for Ali Kaneshiro. She makes her way over to first base. Kern still at second. He's run, but has worked her way back this season. 0-2. Swinging strike three. Couple of Ks from Loopy. Hit of this series. Called strike three. First strikeout of the day for... Someone can get something going. Could be her. She pops that up. Coming across second base to make the, the catch right in front of Kern is Mailer. Right back to Krause. She snags it over to Gall. Extremely fast. Top of the third inning. A one, two, three once again for Reagan Krause. Bottom of the third. Stanford back at it. With Behind the dish, Samantha Swan has come in defensively for Sarah Kinch. As that pitch misses, and it's the third walk of the ball game for Kira Chan. Into left. Under it is Lewis. She makes the catch. Chan makes her way back to first base. Osborne a third of an inning. Ball four once again. Game reps in between those series is important. Called strike three. Third strikeout of the day. Now in defensively, said she picks drops really well. They all have good arms. Ball four. Third walk of this inning. This time it's in the gap. Carmouche will take that one. A two RBI single to make it 13 to nothing. Two more coming across for the Cardinal. She goes with this pitch. Doesn't try to do too much with it. Just throws the hands, lets that ball travel on the outer half. Hit hard. Off the backhanded glove of Walsh at second. Another one comes across for the Cardinal. The ball was hit hard, would have had to pick that perfectly. 
if you're Libby Walsh and it just gets into the outfield, gives enough time for that run to score. Flared coming in on the run to make the catch is Denby and that will do it. Three more come across for the Cardinal. 14 to nothing as we head to the top of the fourth inning. Get a sense of what she's throwing. Called strike three. And Houston comes back with the big time strikeout. One away. Cameron Carmouche stayed in over at second base defensively for Stanford as that is chopped over to Mailer at short. Quick throw to first. Two down. There's Carmouche. But coming in to pinch hit is Aiden Allen. Off the end of the bat, slow roller. Charging is Mailer. She'll make it. A one, two, three outing once again, this time for Alyssa Houston, who came in. Stanford, 14 to nothing, battling it out with 0-2. Take strike three. Loopy does it again, another strikeout in the books. That one's deep. Right at the warning track, Lewis makes the grab. Solid contact from Ellie Eck, but it's out number two. Clements into center field, coming up to make the catch is Hall. Loopy will get it done, the first one, two, three inning for the Sun Devils. Cardinal three outs away. Into center. Going back is Jones. She trips off the wall. Getting it back in, but Cunningham breaks up not only the no hitter, but the perfect game. Into left. At the line is Eliak. She makes the catch. Eck had come in defensively. Swinging strike three. Second strikeout of the day for Alyssa Houston. In the third. Softly to Barry. Fires across, and that's going to seal the deal. After giving up the double, it's one, two, three. After that, for Alyssa Houston, the Cardinal take the game 14 to nothing, and they take the series from Arizona State for the third year in a row. Was clicking for the Cardinal in this one. They will head back here for game number three against the Sun Devils tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific. On behalf of our entire crew, 